Hey crafty friends, today I have a review and demo for you of the Fireworks Shimmer Spray from Imagine Sukuniko. This is a rebroadcast in part from my Periscope live broadcast, but I've edited it just for you. Enjoy! So um, I'm going to look at the Fireworks Spray Inks today. So I, what I'm noticing already, I don't know if you can see, but you see there is a shimmer in the bottom of these um, containers. So I'm kind of giving it the shadow, sh 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 okay, the maraca shake in here. Um, so what we're gonna do, I only got five colors, which is a little disappointing. I'm not exactly sure how many there are in the line, um, but I got a red, a yellow, a pinky, well, I guess it's kind of a pinky red. I'd call that a dark pink. A green and a yellow, and then there is a black, which I find really interesting. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch the camera over so you can see the um, counter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at it on regular cardstock, which is lightweight. We're gonna look at it in, on watercolor paper. We're also gonna try it on some black paper. And we are gonna try it with a resist technique, just because I thought that would be fun. So I'm gonna uncap everything. And uh, I also stamped just on some black to see if it would make that run. I have to tell you, I'm not really um, familiar with these. Like I said, I had some a long time ago, like back when Archivers was alive. Mm -hmm. So these are supposedly water-based, acid-free, non-toxic, and they create colorful, sparkly, shimmery effects. Quick drying on most paper sources. Test spray away from other items. All right, but boy, this just, I'm noticing it settles back out really fast. And this is the part where I'm gonna speed it up so you can see the demo without having to wade through it in real time. So I'm starting off here on just regular cardstock. This is about 90 weight, and I am spraying it just at about eight inches. They say that if you go up higher, you're gonna get a more even spray. If you go closer to the paper, you're going to get um, kind of that splotchy look. I find that with these kind, they have so much pigment in them, and they're kind of opaque, that they, they do have a tendency to be more sparkly. So you're gonna get more of a, splotchy freckly look than what I would consider like a fine mist but there is a lot of color in these sprays you can see that I just kind of used a little bit of water to spread out that rosebud color and um, which makes me think you really could use this as a watercolor paint it's kind of that rich and thick so now we're gonna go ahead and we're trying it on watercolor paper and I just want to show you I'm trying to overlap a little bit to see if I can get some blending and right when you first pin it down you can get it to blend but this is is a true watercolor dye so which means that the minute you put it down it's gonna sink into those pore surfaces and kind of grab on which uh, if you want to do blending then what you really should do is kind of pre-wet the paper but you can see I'm using a lot of product here I'm also adding a little bit of extra water and um, I'm getting those nice pretty drippy effects and for this next one, I just wanted to stamp on the paper using a uh, stays on and then spray over top. I wanted to see uh, how much the shimmer would really kind of block or um, kind of dull down the, the black ink. So I, I just kind of did this as a little pre thing. I'll show you how this looks at the end. Because I cannot let a single drop of this paint go to waste, I just blotted it up off of my table. And you can see that immediately you see how much that shimmer pops on the black paper. Um, I didn't add any extra water I just blotted it up and honestly this is where the word fireworks really comes to mind that's what this looks like um, and there's so much light in my studio the paper doesn't even look as black as it does in real life and so you're not getting all of those sparkles but in this next little portion I just want to show you I'm spraying it right onto black paper and it kind of makes my eyes pop out um, this is the most beautiful shimmer spray I have ever used on a black or dark surface um, and I've used Tattered Angels and some other competitors but this has almost a look to it that it's like what's the word it's like hammered metal it has that kind of uh, shimmer and depth to it it is just absolutely 
phenomenal. So we're going to keep on moving on and you're going to see now how it looks on a resist. Um, and again, I am being thrifty and I'm just using what's on the table um, and adding a little bit of water to the cardstock tag to help it kind of soak in. So we're going to get a little bit of a lighter color, but oh my gosh, again, it's still just really, really pretty. And if you're going to use it in this manner where you kind of dip it off of the table, um, be aware that a lot of that shimmer is going to be left on your mat. So if you spray it directly onto your paper, it's going to be more shimmery. If you do the little dip technique off of the mat, it's going to be a little less shimmery. Just want you to know. So now it's time to take a close-up view of those first samples, which are pretty much dry. So you can see the black has kind of a gray shimmer to it. The rosebud has a coral. The green has a green shimmer. The yellow has a yellow shimmer. It's pretty straightforward. But what you'll see is that where um, there it was more like a drip or a speckle, you get a lot of shimmer. And it almost looks like it has a little white haze to it. But the colors themselves are super vibrant. Now, by the way, if you um, put a wipey across this, it will wipe the shimmer off just a little heads up it stays on pretty well but it's not absolutely permanent um, so here it is on the black and again this this effect on black paper just absolutely floors me I think it's so gorgeous like I love shimmer and so let me just give you another look at this and you can see especially through here where it puddles you get some beautiful beautiful shimmers people so the firework is definitely that shimmery effect and I think this is stunning I can't wait to cut this up and make it into something amazing that's fantastic let's go back and look at the black so here's the thing you don't you can't always get a really nice effect on black paper but look at that I mean, that's really shimmery. I love how it even picked up some little dots in between. I think that is really, really effective. Um, look at it on the black. Remember that rainbow page I made that looks like hammered metal? Wowzers. Guys, I'm gonna let you just soak that in for a second. So here's another piece. I just picked this up from what was on the mat. So you get this very watercolor, and you can see that there's not a whole lot of sparkle, but what you get is just a very, very light shimmer. It doesn't show up very well on camera, but it's very, very light. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna overspray this and see how it layers. Once it's completely dry, let's take a look at this rainbow effect I made one more time. There's that shimmer. Now, remember how I took some water and I tried to get it to lift and it really wouldn't? What happened was, though, is that it kind of took off some of the shine or the shimmer. Do you see, see right there? So here's where I sprayed it, shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Here's where I added the water and dabbed it with paper towel. It lifted the shimmer, but it does not lift the pigment so this is a big thing too a lot of shimmer products the minute you add water they like woo they let go off of the paper they're like nope I'm moving all around again this stuff once you spray it it stays put it does not become water reactive to use the Tim Holtz term so while it is water based once it hits the paper and it's absorbed it becomes more or less permanent it does not want to lift up and move around which is great if you like to layer things. Yes? I just want to finish up by showing you this tag. I actually did that resist technique and then I added more color inside the heart. So it is also very layerable. And these tags were the backgrounds with a little bit of gold sparkle, a Nouveau product on top. And of course, then we had those beautiful black tags as well. So I hope you enjoyed this overview of fireworks from Sukuniko. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks so much for watching watching and have a crafty day.